What's up, guys? We're here today to talk about a question that no one's really asking, but it is, can the DJI Phantom fly a DSLR? Spoiler alert, the answer is yes. We will get to that in just a minute. Uh, first of all, I picked up a few thousand subscribers, so thank you. You guys rock. Uh, you probably noticed I haven't put up a video in a while, and that is because my last flight went something like this. Long story short, we broke the body. You can buy replacement bodies online, but they were back-ordered, and it actually ended up taking about three months to get to my doorstep, so that's fun. Uh, but we finally got it put back together. Uh, we decided to play it safe this time around, so we're going to fly with the DSLR. So this was really, really sketchy. Uh, at least right at the start, takeoff was kind of a disaster. But once we got it up in, in the air, it actually flies surprisingly well. Um, the controls feel about the same. The main difference I noticed was uh, trying to go up and down. It's okay going up, but coming down is really, uh, really sketchy because once it starts coming down, it doesn't want to stop. And we struggled a little bit with the up and down, but besides that, it flew very well. We knew that flight time was going to be much more limited um, with this much weight on there. It ended up being about a minute of flying time on our first flight, but when it starts to run out of battery, it runs out quick. Here it's still full power and it's just plummeting to the earth. Um, so you have to be ready to catch it once it starts to die. So this is actually on the same battery. We gave it a minute to rest and then we took it for another flight. Obviously it'll be a little shorter this time. We wanted to show you a little bit of the footage we got. We're shooting with a fixed 50 millimeter lens, so it's zoomed in, which doesn't bode well for the shakiness, but I mean, obviously this footage is gonna look way better than GoPro footage. Um, and again, this was a much shorter flight. This right here is gonna be full power and it just starts to, again, plummet. So you definitely have to be ready to catch it. So one of the main reasons we were able to get this to work was our camera setup. We were shooting on a Canon T2i. It's one of Canon's older entry-level DSLRs. Uh, it's a really light camera. The lens we were shooting with was even lighter. It's the Canon 50mm fixed lens. Uh, some people call it the Nifty 50, uh, but it's a really light lens. It's almost weightless. Uh, it's a cheapo lens. It runs something like 100 bucks. Um, but between these two, it was light enough that it felt like we might be able to fly it. So it can be done. And that being said, I would highly discourage you from trying this at home. If you've got a shot planned out, that's great. Get up in the air, get the shot, get back down, and you're fine. But it's a lot of money that you're flying up there, so be careful. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos, and don't forget to hit subscribe.